Ah, oh, special Kevlar delivery. Thank you so much, man. Really super appreciate it. Go on. Pass it over here. Thank you. Fantastic. Look at that. Better than Amazon. All right, Survivors, Polly Jr. here, and welcome back to The Infected. We're picking up where we left off here after the end of the last episode. Relatively speaking, anyway, it is now day 6, 319 in the afternoon. It is November slash fall, which means winter is coming. The, uh, the Night King is coming with the winter, and we have to be prepared for that. You can smell it on the air. <laughs> Actually, maybe that's just me. Yeah. Uh, I've been wearing the same underwear for six days and getting a bit crusty. Maybe we should jump in the tuna pond and take a bath. Uh, we don't have time for that. All right. Anyway, thank you very much, by the way, for all the likes and the feedback and the comments and all that jazz. Keep them coming. It's very much appreciated. So we have to fill in the material here for our loom. We found a loom technology in the last episode. We got very lucky when we went to the Vami base because that is exactly what we needed to make cloth, right? to make our winter clothing and armor and that sort of jazz. So let's get that loom made up. We need two iron ingots and we are going to need, I think a couple of logs as well, right? Let's get that thing cranking and a stone. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, let's go grab a couple of logs. So I spent the whole morning chopping down trees. Oh, drop it, drop it, drop it. We need that bird. I need more feathers. Wham, got him. Oh, hold up. There's a, there's a vampy over there just wandering in the woods. <laughs> hey, buddy, you lost? You need directions? Let's go say hi. You want to borrow the sugar? All right, come on. I got some sugar for you. Wham! Oh, wait. That's not sugar. That's an arrow. My bad. Sorry. Yeah, yeah they just attack all day long. They just come over here and they act like a bunch of nuisances, my neighbors. Very, very annoying neighbors. Um, all right, so what do we get from that guy? Just Kevlar. We're gonna need that Kevlar anyway. Fantastic. Oop, scoop up a stick. Yeah, a lot of this stuff we spawn, the, the trees especially, is really, really nice. Sticks and stones can break our bones, and they do, uh, they do respawn randomly, which is pretty cool. All right, let's go finish this thing up. And the, uh, oh, I gotta get the wood too. Had to drop them when we were rudely interrupted by a nosy neighbor. There we go. Oh, look at that loom. It's beautiful. Look at that design. It's like a uh, little dragonflies. Cool. All right. So now we can make stuff on here. Uh, I think we can make cloth, right? I think that's the only thing you actually make on the loom. Because all the clothing and the armor you craft on the workbench. So the only thing that we make here is under others uh, cloth. Three plant fiber and five bark chips to make the cloth, and then use a cloth, obviously, to make up the armor and stuff. Yeah, I really want this right here. That helmet is gonna be super awesome. Okay, hold on, another crow. Let's get it. We need all the feathers. Wham! Oh, jeez. <gasps> I hit the log. Knocked that log for a loop, didn't it? Holy cow. All right, let's grab the logs and go stack them up. We need to make a couple more stacks, actually. So these logs aren't just kicking around because everything that runs through here, all my nosy neighbors, including like, oops, wrong one. Um, not just vambies, but deer, sheep, pigs, and bear. They run through here and knock these logs all over the joint. So I think I'm going to put some more frames up. Let's just, let's do that right now. Under placeables, um, log stands. Yeah, we'll just bang these out real quick. I mean, we're going to need a lot of wood, right, to get through the winter. Although it seems like every day is one season, so it's not going to last very long. <laughs> How many sticks do we have? Just one stick on us right now. Oh, no, we don't have multiple. All right, throw those sticks on there. Let's go grab some more sticks. We've got plenty right here. Just use them all up. Bang these things out. Let's stack up that wood. There we go. All right, beautiful. Put those sticks back. What is cooking on the barbie over here? Um, we got some more meats. I'm gonna get this meat going. Yeah, I took care of a lot of this stuff already this morning, so we wouldn't have to deal with this, but man, the food and the water, it goes right through you quick. Alright, and we'll fill that back up again and get some more clean, potable water. Good morning, tunas! Um, I think I'm gonna throw one more log on here, just to make sure that that continues. 
I like having a fire going. It's very cozy. And how about the water over here? Oh, got to add water to that melon right there. At least the one watermelon, maybe two. Because those provide the most carbs. Yeah, a lot of chores to do here when you're um, a survivor. All right. That's good enough. Just the two watermelons. Okay, let's get back on track here. What time is it? 5.30. We still have several hours of daylight. We want to make our armor and clothing. In particular, like I said, we want to make winter clothes. So let's make a winter coat, 25 plant fiber, and 10 feathers. That doesn't even require any, um, any cloth. But we're going to grab the bark chips because we're going to need that. And the Kevlar for the helmet. Hold on. Let's just get this thing going. So many things going at once here. All right, let's make the puffy snow coat, the winter coat. And that was only, it was 25 fiber, right? 25 fiber and 10 feathers, if I recall correctly. So, yeah, not too shabby. Yeah, there it is. Blue, too. Matches my eyes. Uh, where is it? Did it go right on the body? Oh, it sure did. So there we go. We got plus two armor and plus 20 heat now. Aha! Take that, winter. Okay, let's make up some cloth on our loom here. So that was, um, it was three plant fiber, right? And five barky chips. And you have to do this for every single one, really? That's going to be crazy. So one cloth. Oh, look at that bird. I told you. Look at my neighbors. Crashing through all my logs. Get out of here. Dang it. I don't really have time for this right now. Cleaning up this mess. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's get back on task. I really wish there was a way to do multiples at once. This is kind of crazy doing uh, one at a time. But here's what we're going to do. Let's break these out into threes. Oh, hi. Hi, neighbor. <laughs> Welcome to the neighborhood. Where, where, where are you going? What are you doing? Stop. Stop. Stop that. Hey, stop that. You. Oh, he's gone. Did I? I guess I already harvested him. Uh, stone arrow. I can't pick up the arrow because I'm full. Drat. All right, let's make, um, real quick. Let's make, how much cloth do we need? We need one more cloth. Let's make one more cloth. And now we can make the helmet on the workbench, which was one copper ingot. I think it was three cloth. And six Kevlar, if memory serves. Yes, there it is. It's a construction helmet. Sweet. Is that on my head? It's on my head. <laughs> and if I press the T key, which is my light key, look how bright that thing is. Boy, that thing has some throw. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, I love it. No more torches. No more torches. Fantastic. And grab that arrow before I forget. Oh, still can't grab that arrow. All right, put that stick down, maybe. Grab the arrow now. Yeah. Okay, put that away. Um, it looks like it's getting a little cloudy here. I wonder if it's going to rain or snow. Um, something's wrong with my head. I think I need some carbs. <laughs> Let's go grab this watermelon over here. we got one on the floor. We'll harvest it and toss it back. Mm -mm -mm. Delish. All right, we're going to need more carbs than that. Did this fire go out? Oh, it sure did. Dread. So many things going on at once that you have to keep an eye on. It's crazy. Uh, there's a watermelon. Does this thing need water? Oh, it is. It looks like it is. Um, it is raining. Like it. These planters get hydrated, even though the rain's not coming. Oh, it's snowing. Oh, wait a minute. That's. It's like frost. Ooh. It's okay. We got our nice cozy jacket on. <laughs> Plus twenty heat. I feel fine. But I wonder if the crops are going to die. I don't know. Let's throw a seed in there. This is hydrated. That says it's hydrated. This one is not hydrated. Let's hydrate that one. The pond did not freeze. So maybe, I don't know if it ever does. Or maybe it has to get a little colder. I mean, it's still only... Oh, it's December. Winter is here. I told you winter was coming. <laughs> it just showed up in the middle of the afternoon. Didn't even know it. Okay, that's cool. It looks kind of nice, actually. All right, let's uh, let's grab some firewood. Check this. Let's check this fire down here. This thing's still cranking. 
Um, and I'm going to grab some firewood for the furnace inside. The forge, rather. Get this thing started again. In fact, now that it's winter and it's cold, let's throw a bunch of firewood on this thing. We should just keep it running all day and all night. There we go. That'll keep it going for a while. Gotta grab that stuff off. And throw a couple of rocks on. And I hear a piggy. You better not be messing with my logs, dude. Don't you touch my wood. Oh, he's coming right for the wood too, isn't he? Alright, let's let's keep working here on the clothing. Although it seems like we're okay right now. Like I don't see any indication where we're cold. Um so maybe we don't have to make any more clothes. But let, let's just make the winter pants just in case. The uh, the snow pants, which is six cloth and 20 feathers. And we should make the boots too, four cloth. So we need 10 more cloth. And we should be good to go. All right, I'm going to do that right now. So give me a few minutes because this is a hassle. Game really needs a method of doing multiples at once because this is uh, this gets old real fast. Ooh, check it out! It just started to snow. Oh, that is a really really nice effect. I love it. Yeah, this is uh, it's a winter wonderland here right now. That is beautiful. Really nice job with the weather in this game. And it looks like we're gonna have a snow day tomorrow. No school tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Some of you may not even know what that means, but here in the Northeast, if we get enough snow in the night, then school is canceled the next morning because there's too much snow to get to school and it's a danger for the kids. So yeah, snow days were awesome. One of my favorite things growing up here in the Northeast was a snow day. Uh, all right, anyway, let's get back to work here. I wanna make up the snow pants, although you know what I'm thinking. Since it looks like we're okay right now, let's not make the pants. Let's make the leg armor and the boots instead. So we need four Kevlar and four cloth for the boots. And five and eight for the uh, for the leg armor. Um, Alright, let's do that instead. I mean, the boots provide a little bit of heat as well. So what was that? It was four and four, right? Four and four. Yeah, there we go. We got our booties. Fantastic. Check it out. Heat 24, armor 12. Oh, here's our body temperature right here, 20 degrees. Um, oh, no. We only have seven Kevlar. No, we need one more Kevlar to make the leg armor. Do we have any more? Drat. We do not. All right. Well, we need a Vambi. <laughs> we need a nosy neighbor to come by so we can get some Kevlar from them. Of course, the one time you want a, a Vambi is the one time they won't show up. All right, well, let's just wait for a Vambi to show. They're certainly, they certainly will eventually. Uh, in the meantime, let us grab this stuff off here and keep this fire going. Because it is, ah, oh, oh, special Kevlar delivery. Thank you so much, ma'am. Really super appreciate it. Go on, pass it over here. Thank you, fantastic. Look at that. Better than Amazon. All right, put that down. And it was eight Kevlar and five cloth, right? Leg armor. There we go. Check it out. Look at that. Plus 10 armor and plus two heat. Yeah, feeling pretty good right now. All right, so let's uh, let's get organized. i got a few things to do around the house here real quick. I'm going to put all this stuff away and clean up the yard because it is a disaster. Oh, the watermelon is up. Doesn't look like the snow um, hydrates. So we're going to have to hydrate manually, which is never fun. It's kind of annoying. I, I know there's, there's some other ways to do it. We're going to have to look into some technology. I think there's like a, a, a water bin or something that we can we can build. So we're going to have to keep running back and forth to the tuna pond. But for right now, I'm just going to clean up the yard, get this wood put away. Grab some firewood for the house. Because now that it is nighttime, we're going to be heading in here. And I want this thing going all night long. And we got some iron. That's nice. Let's put a couple of rocks on there. We have to go bang on a boulder and get more rocks, too. 
running a little low. I want to fill up my bin. All right, let's grab all the wood, stack it all up. This headlight is a game changer, let me tell you. So much better than carrying a torch around. So now we have another free slot on the backpack. And uh, we get two hands free, which is super awesome. Okay, I think that's all the logs. Oh, they don't even fit. It's full. All right, we'll tell you what. Let's harvest that. And hold on. Don't harvest that one. I think I want to make windows. Pretty sure we can make windows over here. Let's see what that takes. Two logs. Okay. So, I mean, they're not much of a window, really. They're just uh, it's just a little grid. Um, but let's slap them in there. I don't think they're going to keep the heat in or anything. But I wonder if we can shoot through those. That would be really nice. We're going to find out. Here, a fox. Oh, you little rascal. Where are you? Uh, all right, I don't see him. I think he's pretty far away. <laughs> Let's grab some of this wood and uh, let's fill in these windows. See how they look. Very nice. And that ought to do it. Right there. All right. All the windows are done. So let's stack this guy back up here. And I'm going to put the firewood and the sticks away. Fill up these stacks. I love these stacking racks. So nice. They look nice, and they are super convenient for getting uh, getting organized. All right, look at that. Okay, um, do we have fresh water on here? I already got the clean water. Okay, great. So I think what we're going to do, what time is it? 11.38. Um, energy's pretty low, so maybe right now is a good time to just go to bed and call it a day. Although I think I might bang on a rock to get some more rocks because our rock bin is a little bit light in fact i got a bunch on me right now there we go yeah let's grab a pickaxe we're gonna do one last thing for this episode we'll go bang on a rock and fill up our bin here and we'll keep that thing going all night long the uh the forge i'm gonna bring the bin right with us right to the rock this is so nice this is a game changer right here plop it down and now we can bang on a rock and by the way, that spotted rock that we saw in the last episode apparently is aluminum. Well, plus rocks, probably. Probably mostly rock and a little bit of aluminum. <laughs> Oop, there's some copper. That's nice. Yeah, and these rocks here give you iron and copper. And we just toss them in there. It's so much easier to carry. And it's lighter. Um, I wonder how many it can carry. Is that? I think that's pretty full. I think that's pretty full. One more there. Yeah, I think that's... Wah! Dang it! Why do you guys do that to me every single time? <laughs> right in my ear. Hello! Good night, Irene. Alright, that's just the death uh, scream. Always sounds like there's another one out there coming. Eight arrows. We're going to have to make up some more arrows, I think. Alright, let's pick this thing up. And bring it on home. Uh, wh 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 where's home? Where's home? Home? I'm lost. <laughs> there it is. Right, get out of there, bird. What are you doing over here? Is he trying to steal stuff from me? Man, this neighborhood's gone to the it's gone to the seagulls. I'll tell you. Let's grab a couple of rocks. We'll get those going, and we'll grab some more firewood, and keep the furnace going all night long in our cozy cottage. So awesome, guys. I love it. Yeah, I am really enjoying this game. I'm glad you guys are too. So keep those likes coming. Let me know you want to see more. Drop some feedback and comments and all that jazz. And we shall continue. See how much more we got to do. Like, we definitely want to build a fence around here, right? To keep our neighbors out. And there's a lot more technology to find. Solar power, in fact, which is going to be amazing. So maybe in the next episode, we'll work on the fence and then go off to one of the uh, the Vambi bases and see what we can find there. Get some new technology. All right, so with that, my friends, I think we're going to call it quits. I'm going to hop into bed and call it, you know what, just keep that with me, and call it a night. So we'll see you next time. Ah, so cozy in here. Shut that off. Oh, guys, look at that. 
That is so nice. Hold on, actually, let me put the pickaxe away first because I can't I really can't see. <laughs> All right, now shut it off. Oh yeah, I love it. Just wish it were snowing right now. Looks like it's not going to be a snow day tomorrow. It's just not enough accumulation. <laughs> Drat. Anyway. All right. We'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.